Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with myself and Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? Well, Halloween's just around the corner, so uh, you'll see a lot of people dressing up, going trick-or-treating soon. Uh, and remember, be safe and trick-or-treat responsibly. Right, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be this year. Maybe I'll be you know, string fell off from Airwolf, you know. Um, anyways, we got some news, so let's go to work and let's uh, do this. So welcome back, Tommy. I have to share with you that um, there is a 33-year-old man from New England that went to the Hall of Fame of, of the New England Patriots, and where you can um, look around in the museum. He ended up taking Tom Brady's jersey that's over at least $10,000 from his game jersey from Super Bowl back in 2017. Police and other um, security saw what he did. The slip up was he was wearing it as he was leaving the museum. He got arrested, they found him, and he got in huge trouble. That is just crazy. I know there's a lot of people that are not fans of the Patriots out there, but still, to go there, a place where people are uh, can look at things, remember barely from the past uh, wins and past games and stuff, uh, and then to walk out with it on just and stroll out of the place like he owns it, I mean, what has that ever even worked most of the time where people will actually do that, pretend like they actually own the jersey and walk right out? That's just crazy. Right, and basically he was wearing it underneath his shirt that he originally wore in. So you kind of cannot get away with that. So it's just, I mean, if you really wanted a jersey like that, you know, go online and or, order uh, a replica jersey. So, um, moving on, uh, Tommy, what do you have for this uh, week? Okay, well, <clears throat> there's this guy called Dustin Parker. He's been in the talent agency for over seven years now, uh, working at the Performing Center for the Arts. Uh, he has been doing projects with McDonald's, uh, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, as well as many other companies in their marketing and hiring agents, uh, I mean, I just hiring talent to work with these and doing brand deals. Now he just got hired by the agency called Addison, basically, which represents I Justine, Joy Crisefa, and many more uh, well known YouTuber names out there. So, with all of his past stuff he's done in the past and everything, he's now um, been hired on to help this company out. And he's bringing some of his former clients with him beauty vloggers, uh, people with podcasts. Uh, people talk about food, a, f a food photographer, and a channel that's where the guy speaks mainly uh, Spanish. Uh, so he's bringing that talent into this uh, company that's been around representing, like I said, I Justine and a lot of other big name YouTubers. Well, that's great. That's that's really awesome. So um, that's good that he's worked with I Justine. Um, that he's worked with a lot of top talent out there to bring them in and help them along the way. I wish him the best and success. Um, also, that I look forward to seeing more of his videos as well. So they're hoping you know him to be in this uh, company for a long time and even make him the chief. Right, that's great. So we'll post a story so you could take a look at more information about this. This is awesome. So. Um, those of you that are YouTubers out there and that are looking for a talent agency like this could help you out along the way. So that is all the news that we have. Um, we've been a little bit busy. Our schedules have been a little hectic lately. 
don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like this video, hit that notification bell because sometimes you won't even know if we put up a video unless you are notified about it. Um, hit that notification bell like Tommy said and um, we will see you next time and see you later. Bye, Bye everyone.